Hello everyone, and uh, finally I decided I should actually put my face to a video and uh, at least give you a bit more of an idea of who you're watching every odd day or so. Most of you know, my name is Paul Daniels, uh, a lot of people also call me Jack for obvious reasons, and I guess I'm just going to do a little bit of a talk here about what I'm doing, where I've been, a bit of background on myself. So, most of you know, uh, fixed PCs, laptops, electronics, basically anything that comes into the shop. Uh, it's a small town that I'm currently living in, only about 9,000 people across a fairly large area, maybe about 5,000 within the town itself. So you can't really get to pick and choose what you do here uh, in terms of what sort of IT work you want to go for. However, I am mostly working on laptops and trying to push into the more electronic repairs if I can. I've been doing this work for perhaps um, well, almost 30 years now. Finished up school, year 12, and straight away was self-contracting. First job was actually with the school. Prior to that, I was actually doing jobs with the local mine sites. This community here is uh, driven mostly by mining, gold mining, and uh, agriculture, cattle, things like that. I haven't always lived here. I've been around the world a little bit. I spent a lot of time over in South Africa. Once again, IT related. It was an excellent opportunity for me at the time. Uh, I had an excellent boss who essentially gave me a free run. As long as when there was a job to be done, and they didn't know who to hand to, they just handed it over to me and said, look, give it a best shot. And so I was a bit of a back jack of all trades back then. I also did university for a couple of years, uh, four years. I didn't finish my degree, but I certainly picked up a tremendous amount of knowledge there. Things that you wouldn't necessarily pick up on the job like this. Uh, I believe in experience on both sides, what you pick up through academic learning and also what you pick up actually on the job. I think you need both in many ways to really cut through a lot of the worst of the problems. I do enjoy doing all of these sort of things uh, from electronics equipment repairs, general PC work, as boring as it can be at times, it is sometimes a bit of a nice, uh, nice change. Programming obviously, a lot of people know me from the open board view software, uh, particularly those of you watching this channel. If you check my website, uh, which you'll see in the links below, uh, you'll see I've been doing this now for a long time. I've uh, contributed quite a lot to the community, the open source community. So, what am I doing the YouTube channel for? Well, you know, in part, it's uh, just to sort of show people this is what I do. Uh, I think also there's a lot of um, people out there who are trying to get started with the PC repair shop or whatever, feel like perhaps they're a bit intimidated by the level of professionalism they have to achieve. Um, I think people like Willis Rossman do an excellent job of demonstrating that really a lot of it is not quite the professionalism gloss, so to speak, that people like to talk about. A lot of when you get to the back room is very much people like you and me. Uh, there's nothing special. Uh, you just Learn to do the job well, you know, just respect your own work, I suppose. Always be on the lookout to learn. I think until I started getting onto the YouTube, YouTube channels and bumping into people like Lewis Rossman, uh, Jessa recently from iPad Rehab, Jason Fulmer of SDS Telecom, Chris Long, now you've come along, I mean, some of the stuff you've done recently has helped out so many people, like the M1 fix, uh, brilliant work. Uh, it's been bugging so many people so long. So as I'm mingling with the circle of people, we're all producing our YouTube content. Uh, we're going live channels, things like that, which is great fun, although I must admit it's killing my productivity a lot. Uh, I spend way too much time watching it. And Lewis, for God's sake, four-hour streams. I mean, come on. There's no real specific agenda here, it's just nice to share it with other people and uh, yeah, just give people an inside look on what it's like to do this sort of work. The, the weird problems we come across, the fact that everything isn't by the book, there's no formula or a specific 
solution book to go through every time. Most of the time, it's a um, I'm better at Googling than what the customer is. That's all it really comes down to. And sometimes you get a beautiful, simple job like uh, on today's stream of Lewis with the back to front uh, cable. That was fantastic. Unfortunately, they don't come along very often. So, the stuff you see me doing in the YouTube videos, I um, know there's a lot of mistakes that I make in it, a lot of failed assumptions, things like that, but that just gives you an idea of that is how it really is. I do not honestly believe that most workshops out there, workshops that do excellent quality work still, I do not believe that they walk in with their straight jacket outfits and their perfect rule books and things like that to do the work they do. I think from what I've seen in all the work I've done around the place, it's all like this sort of stuff. It's a case of, well, you know, I think it could be this, you try that, and you're wrong, you try something else. It's a constant iterative process, you're constantly readjusting things. So don't feel intimidated by the fact that you don't get it right the first time. And especially don't get intimidated by people who tell you that you don't know what you're doing. If you're producing the results, then that's what matters. And if you're not destroying people's data, you're not destroying their electronics, you know, you're actually providing a service to these people, a quality service, then to hell with what these so-called other professional people are saying. Because half the time, yeah, they just, I don't know why they do it. You know, maybe they're trolls, maybe they're grumpy, who knows. But, what can you do? Try not let it get to you. I know even myself, you know, you can get rattled occasionally, but in the end you've got to realise, well, you know, people like what I'm doing. They come back, got a lot of repeat customers, and, you know, if I disappeared, or went to another town, there'd be a lot of people trying to get a hold of me, which is a good thing. A lot of the solutions and tools that I'm using aren't what you would consider the normal commercial tools and solutions. And to be fair, I actually kind of like it that way. I think in many cases, going about it these slightly different ways gives you a deeper insight as to what you're actually working with. Anyone can go out and spend $5,000 on a turnkey solution, but if the job deviates off the line from what you're expecting, then you're kind of up the creek and you don't know what to do. You have to make a service call in, or you know, the, the costs keep adding up. At least by doing it this way, it gives you more flexibility. You understand the system is better. That allows you to adapt more with uh, things that you haven't encountered before. It keeps your mind active as well. Uh, nothing like a rusting brain. It's not really that great. I do want to put a special thank you out there to the other people on YouTube that have really helped me. Prior to perhaps say middle of last year, I was doing fine with my work, but I was also feeling a bit uh, separated from a lot of people. It's quite isolated out here. It was by chance that one of my customers forced a MacBook Pro onto me. So on that first point, Lewis, uh, thank you very much for the time and effort you put into doing all your videos. I didn't know you like I did do now back then, but um, yeah, normally I'm very skeptical with dealing with popular people videos. A few people say, go watch Lewis Rossman. And I was like, eh, you know, I'm not really overly keen on that. But I gotta say, after the first couple of videos, I was hooked. The one that made me laugh the most was when you probably did the first SMC reballing video, not one of your live ones, but one of the early ones. And I think you worked on that thing about three, four times. It was like a f one hour long video. I think that's when it really changed for me and I found I just had to keep watching what you're doing. I learned a tremendous amount. It saved me a lot of work. I just sat there and sucked in all the things you um, provided for the community and at no cost. I mean, that was brilliant. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, and I hope that the work I've done on Open Board View, I mean, it seems to be very beneficial for you and hopefully I'll be able to continue to produce improvements on that. When you first announced the Chloridite release of Open Board View, I sort of looked at it and it wasn't actually available for Linux at that point. And I was fortunate that two other people had just started to do the uh, conversion 
to Linux and from there it sort of just took off and I linked in with my programming skills I suppose you would say and took it from there so thank you very much for also taking the chance on the open world view and the updates I was doing I really appreciate it and all the promotional work you do when you announce open board view and myself fantastic really it changed a lot of things for me and the work you do I've got to say it changes a lot of people for the better for the better I meet a lot of people that say how much your videos have changed their lives for the better so you know someone needs to make a plaque for you to say yeah, this guy has done some great work uh, uh, Jessa and Chris Long uh, I should say Jessa Jones, iPad Rehab, Chris Long you guys uh, more recently I've bumped into and I'm really pleased about that uh, you've given me more of the iPhone influence of things which I do a lot of iPhone work here and uh, far more than I do MacBook work uh, I've got boxes and boxes of dead iPhones and as soon as I get myself this microscope I promise you I will get it I'm just taking my time and not because I want to but just because I have to I will be going through those motherboards or logic boards of the iPhones and I'll be harassing you guys pretty badly so <laughs> you're gonna have to suck it up <laughs> Jason, Jason Fulmer of uh, STS Telecom fantastic meeting you and chatting with you most days you're on the other side of the planet and yeah, each day it's brilliant to catch up see what's going on seeing how things are adapting for us both you clearly are doing an excellent job over there I really wish you the very best of success for no other reason than for your own success so, and less stress hopefully <laughs> and as for me well I'm just going to keep pottering along it's just a case of whatever comes in that I think might be worth doing as a video I will do it chop it up send it up line soon I will be getting broadband with 5 megabits up so I'll actually be able to do live streams and they may be rather thin live streams in the sense of not a lot of activity happening on them but I guess we'll see uh, it'll be me pottering over on the workbenches cursing probably or ingesting dust or maybe retrieving a snake out of the power supply that does happen out fortunately here fortunately it's mostly geckos but every now and then we will get something odd like a snake and I really appreciate that everyone's watching uh, having nearly a thousand subscribers at this point was certainly a lot more than I ever thought I would have six months ago I appreciate the time I appreciate your comments uh, and hopefully I'll be able to keep entertaining you for a while yet so thank you very much I look forward to bumping into all of you on chat and whatever else if you had breasts yeah, be, okay. you can't really see your gut at well, all let's hope I don't get moobs <laughs> <laughs>